Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Ashley and I am so excited to be with you for midweek in the middle of our Advent. And so today I'm going to be reading to you from Luke and from Matthew. And um, during the time uh, that Mary was pregnant with Jesus, um, Elizabeth was also pregnant with a little boy and he is a part of Jesus's story also. So we're kind of learning in today's story um, about who Elizabeth is pregnant with and how he fits into the story, Jesus's story, the great story. Okay, so this is called Thunder in the Desert, Preparing the Way. I'm going to be reading in Luke 1 first. Okay. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear a son. And you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great before the Lord. And listen, this is his purpose, John's purpose. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. And the disobedience to the wisdom of the just. He will make ready for the Lord a people prepared. So basically, Elizabeth is pregnant with John who's going to prepare the way for Jesus. And we have to remember and think back to when Mary was pregnant this time all these years ago. And during this time, um, it had been hundreds of years that God had been quiet. And so for 400 long, long years, God was quiet. But then all of a sudden, it was like hundreds of quiet years were shattered and God's voice echoed loud in the hearts that God was doing something incredible. And we, you and me, we get to celebrate that Christmas, right? What's that incredible thing? Yes, Jesus, he sends his son. Oh, see, John the Baptist's parents were Zachariah and Elizabeth. And one day an angel had kind came to them and declared Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth would have a baby boy and they would name him John. And John would be the man with the spirit and the power of Elijah and he would help people get ready for Jesus. He would help people get their hearts ready for Jesus. Okay, now I'm going to read in Matthew. And I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because then I'm going to tell you a little bit about John and what he's like when he grows up. Okay. John grew up to be gloriously different from the rest of the crowd. He wore coats made of camel hair, never let scissors get anywhere near his long hair. And John was a hairy kind of guy who lived out among the cactuses and the brushes of the desert. It says... Now John, he wore a garment of camel's hair and leather belt around his waist, and his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all of Judea and all the region about the Jordan were going out to him, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. You see, John, he grew up to be a preacher, and he was a preacher that just had one message. He played his one message on repeat. It was simple, but it was so special. He proclaimed the baptism of repentance and the forgiveness of sins, which means he was called the, calling the people to change their ways and say yes to God. Because God's kingdom is here, the Son, King Jesus, is coming. You see, so all those years ago, when Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, 
Elizabeth was also pregnant and she was pregnant with John and his purpose, the reason that God gave Zachariah and Elizabeth a baby was so that he could prepare the way for Jesus. Okay. So now we're here today in the middle of Advent and you know, Advent is our waiting. It's our hearts are waiting and getting ready for Christmas, right? And what is Christmas? The birth of Jesus. The great rescue is starting. The love that had been coming for us since the beginning of time was coming to undo all the bad things. Jesus was coming to rescue us from being captive to all the sin and badness. There can be no greater gift than Jesus. It's a love that frees us forever, and that's what Christmas is about that the God of the universe comes to be with us. And Advent is about preparing our hearts to welcome Jesus into every part of our lives. God gives himself as the greatest gift. Jesus is always close to us. That's the gift that we get at Christmas. We get Jesus. We get to celebrate that Jesus came to be with us. And the best way that we can be with him is just by coming exactly as we are. You and me exactly as we are right now, we come and we say, here, Jesus, I'm here. That's what Jesus wants, is for us to be with him. He wants a relationship with us, with you and with me. This is why Jesus came, to make a way for us to have a relationship with God so that we can know him. Wow, this is so exciting. I love Advent because it is a special time um, where we get to, our hearts get to anticipate, right? The birth of Jesus. And it's so wonderful and exciting. And we think back to um, all of those hundreds of years that God was quiet and he was getting ready for the greatest rescue plan in all of history, in all of the world's story. This is the greatest love story. All right, boys and girls, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, to Jesus's birth. Thanks for joining and listening and being with us as we celebrate um, Advent. We'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.